welcome back to my channel. I am just sitting here having a cup of coffee and I'm about to do my like devotional and five minute journal. <clears throat> I am so sleepy. I was like abruptly woken up because the boys were barking really loud this morning. Um, but that's okay because I slept until like 8.30. <laughs> Um, we were up looking at the solar eclipse last night or lunar eclipse. I don't know what it was called, but, um, one of those we were looking at. So I'm, we were up kind of late, so I'm quite tired, but anyway, it is Monday morning. I took a break from vlogging last week just because I was not working. We went on a cruise, like a little mini vacation, and we had a great time. We had a lot of fun. I did try to vlog, and then I was like, this isn't working. I don't want to edit anything. I want to, like, have a week to myself for real. Um, so I didn't put up anything yesterday. But anyway, we are back to it. Um, this week is my last week of vacation before I start my pediatric rotation next week a week from today and my pediatric class and i'll do that for until august and then i'm done like i'm fully done with np school in august so i'm so excited about that um i'm very much dreading going back next week but it's okay because i have to go back to finish so anyway um this week what we have on the agenda is today i don't like have to do anything i will probably just chill laundry clean like that type of thing at home go to the gym um tomorrow i'm working in the hospital and then thursday i'm working in the hospital um and saturday work at the iv place um i wanted to like get my days kind of out of the way like my um, per diem days out of the way this week before i had to um start my clinicals so we're going to do that. I haven't worked two days in a week in the hospital in a long time. And I'm doing like, um, you know, there's a day in between because those were the days that they needed help. And I would prefer to help to like be on a day that they were understaffed because then most likely I won't get floated. Hopefully that's the goal. But anyway, I have been talking a lot in this clip. So good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. We are going to have a good week um i'm really just gonna try to chill probably work on my resume a little bit um, but other than that it's just work and i'm kind of excited to not even not excited that's not the right word for it i'm happy to get a taste of what my old life used to be like where i would just work and not have to go to school or not have to do anything else so that's what this week is for and yeah i'm so happy you guys are here and let's have a great week I'm gonna give the dogs a bone while I eat breakfast. Oh man, we give them these um, premium beef marrow bones. They're really good. They really like them. They're disgusting, but keeps them busy for a while. Camper, I gotta open this one. I'll give you one, honey. Okay. Camper. Whoa, this one's a big one, honey. Where are you? Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Making a little yogurt bowl for breakfast. One of the best parts about being on the cruise Last week was not having to cook or clean my house. So much time is devoted, that so much time I devote to cleaning my house. And it's so frustrating, so annoying. Do I want? Yeah, we'll do that. I was thinking of maybe like toast or something, but I've already got all this stuff out. Nola, and then I always put peanut butter on my um, yogurt too which is probably kind of weird and I don't drink I mean I don't eat like regular yogurt I eat this silk unsweetened almond milk vanilla yogurt 
and I put a little bit. It doesn't have much protein in it. Not that I'm like a protein fiend or anything, but I like to have like a protein, a carb, and um, fat in a meal because that just is like a great combination for like staying full for a while. So I'm gonna, I put like a scoop of protein in it. This is my favorite protein. Um, I've said this before, but I prefer the unsweetened flavor, but they don't sell it at Target. And I don't know why I just like don't order it on Amazon. It's just, it's easier to get it on Amazon, but I like don't realize it until I'm out. And so then I can just run to Target and get it and not wait. You just mix it together and it turns out fine. It does taste like a little bit different. Can be slightly gritty, but I don't really care. It's the finished product. Not that pretty, but really good. Very filling. I'm getting ready to go to the gym. It's, it's 11.30. I have been sitting on the couch. I put away the laundry from last night, um, which was good, productive. But I've been sitting on the couch for a little while now i'm just feeling so lazy and unmotivated you know what let me take my vitamins while i'm here chatting with you because i forgot to take them this morning um yeah i'm just feeling really lazy and unmotivated we're getting into the like very hot season here in florida which gets me very like tired like i don't want to go outside so anyway I'm wearing one of these new tops that I got from Amazon and it's so cute, but there's like a girl, a lady, she's not a girl, at the gym um, that I go to. We're not allowed to wear shirts that like show our midriff. So like I couldn't just wear like a sports bra and a top, but she is like the police there. If she sees something like this, like I'm probably gonna get a talking to today, which is so annoying. It's like, it's the gym, just let me like wear, whatever I want to. And even like, I'm covered. This is not immodest. <laughs> so, I'm deciding if I should change or not. I just don't feel like it. I like this shirt, it's breezy. But I did just get a few other shirts, so I might change. I might be a good girl today. Well, it's not like I'm not following the rules. The boys are at the door, they've been outside. You guys want to come inside? Come on. Come on. Bozier's been laying in the dirt. Hi, babe. You've literally been laying in the dirt. I just cleaned the floors, honey. You're all dirty. Oh my God, look at my hand. Who's you're dirty. Are you gonna get back today? <laughs> We're making dinner. I'm making um, a black bean burger recipe. We cook at home all the time, we as in me, but um, I make all the same recipes, so we're kind of gonna switch this up. This isn't um, a vegetarian or vegan black bean burger recipe, but I'm going to make it that way. It's from Sally's Baking Addiction.com, and hopefully it turns out good. Having a LaCroix. This is my second favorite La LaCroix behind Limoncello. This one's really, really good. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. I was supposed to work at the hospital today and I still am. Um, 
but when I woke up this morning at 5.30, I had a text saying they were pushing me back to 11. So it's currently almost nine o'clock. I have to call and do a check-in at nine just to make sure that they still need me. Um, so yeah, most likely I'll go in at 11 and work an eight hour shift, which is okay with me um, as far as like working wise because I don't wanna work. <laughs> but um, money wise, it does kinda suck a little bit because you do lose some money in those four hours, but whatever um it is what it is if it's meant to be it'll be so i am making myself a cup of coffee and then i'm just gonna sit down and relax for a little bit and then take the boys on a w-a-l-k and then get ready for work update literally two minutes later <clears throat> i just got called off of work so, I'm like, what? <laughs> Senses must be so low today. Anyway, Ugh, I was kind of counting on like a, a good paycheck, but like I said, like if it's meant to be, it'll happen. <clears throat> I always say like, it. sometimes it helps with my anxiety, sometimes it doesn't, but I always say like, if I'm meant to be floated today, because it will be better for me to be there, then I want to be floated or you know like whatever happens is meant for me to be there and I can handle whatever is going to come at me so what came at me today was not going in so that's cool in the grand scheme of things it's actually amazing because I love having like a day off um <laughs> I just feel so bad because I'm not gonna get paid as much but whatever anyway I'm thankful for that and we're gonna have a great day I'm gonna rearrange what I was gonna do today, but that's cool. We're always down for that. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm just like, wait, what? This hasn't happened to me in like at least a year. Um, it's usually like, that's why I don't sign up to work the beginning of the week when I also um, do clinicals and I'm not, I start my clinicals back next week, but I'm not in clinicals right now. Um, but I don't really like to sign up to work the beginning of the week because you're always canceled because we only do um, like legs and, I mean not legs, knees and hips usually at the beginning of the week and they try to send most of them home. Um, so census is always low on my floor anyway. And then like towards the end of the week we do, on Thursdays and Fridays we do bariatrics and we do a lot of um, gastrointestinal like um hemicolectomies and stuff like that so yeah anyway i guess i have the day off today gym target had lunch but <clears throat> one of my goals for this month and like while I had time sorry I feel like my hands are that my hands looked dirty in there a little bit I was just outside playing with the boys I had to wash them but um one of my goals for this month was to like get my resume up to date my nurse practitioner resume I have a RN resume but your nurse practitioner resume is different especially when you're applying applying for jobs and you don't have a license yet so i've i've done that i do think one of my biggest tips um for like resumes is you need to tailor every resume that you have like if you find a job say you're looking on indeed like i am if you find a job that you are interested in look on the description of that job and put little descriptors that they include into your resume that would describe you. I mean, obviously don't do it if it's not true, but if it asks for somebody who's like well-organized and a team player, if you feel like you are that, you should put that in your resume because they will highlight those key terms. Um, so yeah, one of my goals was to get that to kind of like get my resume done and perfected. And I kind of thought maybe I should start applying to jobs 
I still feel like it's too early. Like just a part of me just feels like it's not quite the right time. You know, I wouldn't, I don't know if I've had this conversation with you guys before, so I'm sorry if I have, but I'm not completely done until August, meaning I probably won't sit for my um, certification exam until the end of August. So I feel like I'm a little premature because people who are hiring probably want to hire within like the next month or so. But I have been looking just at job boards, just kind of seeing what's out there, what's available. Sorry, <laughs> excuse me. And there was this job for a physician's assistant or an APRN for cardiology. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I love cardiology. My two things that I could really see myself in long term is either a cardiology nurse practitioner or an aesthetic nurse practitioner. And there's this job that's for a nurse practitioner in cardiology, really, really great, like 401k, three weeks of PTO, opportunities for growth, a great team atmosphere that empowers you to seek better ways to deliver service. I love that. Obviously, I don't know if it's true, but the company itself has really good reviews. And I applied. I don't think I'm going to get it. I have like, I don't think I'm gonna, I have no experience in cardiology. It doesn't say that you need it, but I don't know. I just wanted to, and it's really nerve wracking to start applying for jobs because I'm like scared to get rejected. I'm scared to not have a job as soon as I'm done with school because I really don't want to work like in my, I don't really want to work as a nurse anymore. Um, I feel like I'm past that point in my life. I'm really burnt out of hospital nursing at least. And it makes no sense for me to get an outpatient nursing job right now because I'm going to be done soon and I would be transitioning roles. So anyway, I thought I would just update you guys with that. Um, really nervous about the whole process and how it's going to go afterwards. I'm just, I don't know. So I'll send me you guys as like well wishes and stuff, but it would be amazing if I did get that job. I just really, I want it to be right. I don't, I want to be kind of picky with what I apply for because I haven't always been picky with applying in my nursing career. And I want to be picky about what I want and I want it to almost be like the perfect job for me. So we'll see. Just finishing up dinner. We're having spaghetti and salad. This is my favorite balsamic vinaigrette from Trader Joe's. And then we're actually gonna go to a movie tonight. We're gonna go see um, the Doctor Strange movie. On a Tuesday night, which is kind of random for us, but it should be fun. A good way to get out of the house, celebrate that I didn't have to work today, and Seth is almost done with school. He's just, um, I think he just has next week left. And then he's done, he's out for the semester. So yeah, I'm excited. We're gonna go at 7.30, an hour. Good morning, you guys. <clears throat> Camper, do you mind? Hi, good morning from my couch. I'm drinking my coffee. It was a very late night last night. We went to see, um, the Doctor Strange movie, and I'm a Marvel girly. I really am. I love Marvel. Camper, honey, I need a minute, okay? He's, like, obsessed with playing right now. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I'm a Marvel girly. I love Marvel. Doctor Strange has never been my favorite, and this movie just took it a little too far. <laughs> it was, like, a little too obvious with, like, I don't know. I'm not really into like the mystical part of it. I like Iron Man and Captain America and anyway, it was, it was a little much, but we didn't get home until like past midnight. So not right now, honey. So I'm very tired this morning, but I have the day off. So that's cool. And Danielle Carolyn just came out with a new vlog cause it's Wednesday. So, I'm about to finish my coffee and watch that. Look at this. Will you leave me alone for a second? 
pausing watching this vlog for a second because I wanted to show you guys that um, before the beginning of every semester, we have to plan out the days that we're going to be at practicum, um, which is clinicals. Practicum and clinicals mean the same thing. So I do this before the semester usually because I like... Um, sorry, I had a brain freeze. I like to be prepared in the sense of I want to get my hours done as fast as I can um, because when your hours are done, then you just have to focus on school. Whereas when I'm doing my hour, oh my God, my hair, I'm sorry, when my, when I'm doing my like clinical hours and going to school and working, it's very, very stressful and I don't like doing that. So I like to do it for the shortest amount of time possible. So this semester I'm doing either three to four days a week in order to be done in, I think, let me count how many weeks total I'm going to be doing it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to get my hours done in eight weeks. Cool. Um, so that's three to four days a week for eight weeks. And yeah. So anyway, what I was getting to is we have to enter the days that we're going to be at practicum in Typhon. Um, we don't have to do the whole thing prior to um, school starting, but we do have to do two weeks in advance. So I'm just going to enter in the whole thing and we'll see where it goes from there. But I thought I would show you guys how we do it. So basically we have to, and I don't know if this is the same for everybody, but we request the event. And then, so I'm starting my practicum on the 23rd. So then we put days I am at practicum on there. And then we just have to save it. I'm now just coordinating my class schedule with um, my practicum clinical schedule. And you guys, I'm gonna die. What was I thinking? This is gonna be insane. I'm. I'm really stressed right now, like actually thinking about this. But this is how I, this is how I always get, I'm spiraling. It's always crazy in the beginning and then it like calms down. Where's my pen go? Does anybody else like every time they sit down to and have a pen, they immediately lose it? I hate it. I'm just gonna finish planning this out though. I'm like really dreading starting clinicals again and starting this whole process again. And I know like it's gonna be a really quick semester and obviously it's my last semester, but I'm just really dreading it. Storm's about to roll in, but I am actually working on some schoolwork, unfortunately. But I, um, <laughs> this is so dumb. I have a project due in two weeks. I wanted to get it out of the way, so I signed up for the first time slot. So that's in two weeks from last Tuesday. So actually less than two weeks. But anyway, it doesn't seem like it's that bad. It's just presentation of an evidence based practice article. There's not really a lot of like um direction on it so i'm kind of confused like the presentation is short only three to five minutes we signed up already and i picked immunizations so i just have to find an article about immunizations i guess and talk about talk about it which is fine just i hate in every class that i have except for pharmacology which i don't know how she got out of doing this but in every class that I've had, we have a presentation and it's just dumb. It's just to fulfill a requirement and I hate it. I hate presenting. I have to always have to present at least twice a semester because I have to present for my regular class and then for my clinical class. And my clinical class one, I'm gonna go first this time because I'm graduating, I'm, I'm done. Um, they try to put the graduating seniors um, first so that, cause we have to take the HESI at the end and we have to like apply for taking the certification exam and it's just kind of a lot. So 
anyway, I'm working on this on my day off, on my last week off. <laughs> I'm working on an assignment. Oh my God, you guys. The, it took me forever to find an article that I could use for this evidence-based practice immunization article thing. One, because all of the good articles have already been used to make it so that the vaccines are on the children's schedule, like the immunization schedule for children. So I'm like, why would I use that? Because I have no, like, there's no proposed changes for me to enact, which is 15% of the grade. So <laughs> if I just say like, oh, hey, they should be immunized for MMR or whatever, at the or get the flu vaccine at a certain age, I would have no proposed changes because those are already on the chart. So I figured that the best way to go with this would be to look for the COVID vaccine for the Pfizer like trial that made it so that children age five to 11 could get vaccinated. And I finally found it after so much digging and I've decided that's what I'm gonna go with, but I'm not happy with it. I'm really not happy with it. I, freaking eight school projects but this is the last one for this class so the first and the last actually i have to do like a handout which isn't a presentation but it's a project so i don't know what all goes into that yet but dang this sucks i don't want to go back i should have just stopped and gotten my adult gero <sighs> Oh, the lighting's like super weird. I'm sorry, but anyway, it's Thursday morning. Getting ready for work. It's currently 5:50. I'm just making my coffee, and I'm gonna leave soon. And yeah, that's it. We're hoping for a good day. Can't wait to get home tonight and shower and get that. That's all I can do about right now. So I'll see you guys tonight. Okay, update. I was literally just sitting here, like, doing my five-minute journal. And I got a call from the nursing supervisor that they were going to push me back to 11. And it's totally fine. Like, they had a code this morning, so they usually tell us beforehand. Usually, I wake up to a message if that happens. But I'm like, dang, it's 5.57 now. I'm literally all dressed. And thank goodness I haven't taken a sip of my coffee yet, but I'm like, what the heck do I? I mean, I definitely go back to bed, right? Definitely, because <laughs> I'm so confused. This is so strange. Never happened to me before. And there's another girl too who's peering, so I'm not sure why they didn't push her back because they pushed me back. enjoying my last off day in the week before I start clinicals next week and it's pretty early still it's nine oh it's 9 50 dang I thought it was earlier than that it's 9 50 it's a pretty gloomy day outside it I think it's supposed to rain all day honestly which doesn't really happen much here we usually get little pockets of rain but not all day rain yeah it's supposed to rain all day so the plan for today is gym. I um, need to watch some videos for class next week and get started editing this video. Uh, that might be it, but there's a, the videos for class next week are like 
I think there's at least three of them and they're an hour long each. So that's going to be a big thing and working on that project that I was telling you guys about. So that is, ah, this is what I deal with in this house. <laughs> anyway, that's what today is going to be about. Hi, baby. Several hours later and I'm sitting down to do some schoolwork. I'm about to watch, well, I've already started the lecture, so I'm just going to keep going, but see how long it is. It's literally an hour and five minutes, and it's over pediatric examination, peeps. I don't even know what that is, <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see what that is, and then I have plenty more um, videos to watch about it, but I have my study partner here, and it's like raining outside. I probably can't tell, but it's storming, so... Kipper is under the bed because he's afraid of thunder and I just kind of felt like being in my bed. This feels very college for me because I lived in a dorm and so I would study on my bed and I'm kind of vibing with it honestly. I'm kind of into it. Just getting ready really quickly. We're gonna go eat some ramen for a very early dinner. It's only 4.30. <laughs> But it is what it is. Probably won't actually eat until like 5 36 o'clock. So, anyway, um, I got through one PowerPoint, the one that I showed you guys. And so that's cool. And I doubt I'll do anything else tonight because I'm too lazy. I just hate when there's like. This is why I didn't think I was going to like peds because there's so many. Um, technicalities like that I'm not aware of because I have never practiced in pediatrics before I've never ever dealt with I mean like obviously I went I did like pediatric rotations in nursing school but I hated them and I hated the class but in peds you have to learn like the growth and development you have to learn different vital signs you have to learn what they should and what they shouldn't be doing what like um what areas to assess up to a certain age and what you know anatomy as you get older and stuff like that I don't like that I like it all just kind of being the same and this is what to expect in the general adult population and learning about disease I like to learn about disease processes so I think that's why I like peds I mean that's why I like adult more because it's not so technical and I don't have to remember certain ages and certain things that they're supposed to be doing at that age I don't know we'll see when I actually get to clinicals but I'm like, maybe I should make a pediatric notebook, like my pharmacology notebook, like as I go through this class, because that might be helpful for people. So anyway, we'll see, but I'm going to go. That's literally just like picking me up. He was like, be ready, because I'm doing a drive-by. <laughs> okay. Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. <clears throat> I'm just about to run out the door. I don't really do like I don't really blog anything on Saturday but I have a couple clients booked at the IV bar today so I'm running over there it's 9 13 I need to leave at 9 15 <laughs> so I'm just running over there this first one starts at 10 I have to be there 30 minutes before to like get stuff ready and everything like that so yeah that's the plan for the morning I made myself an iced coffee the coconut one the new ice over coconut from Nespresso or sorry from Nespresso I really like it um but it is in coffee form and I wish it was in espresso form because it would be even better that way so I made an iced coffee today I'm not usually an iced coffee in the morning person but we're going for it and yeah I'm bringing my computer because I'm gonna try to do some schoolwork if I can while I'm there and yeah, that's the plan. I don't really have any other plans for today. I feel like I could take a nap. It's been re really dreary the last couple of days here, so I'm feeling very like cozy and like staying in bed. So that's the plan for today, but I'm going to make a video of my shift on TikTok, so that'll probably be up today. Um, it'll already be up when you see this video, so I'm going to end this video here. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in next week's video, which will be me starting my pediatric clinical rotations, me starting my pediatric class, and I don't know, hopefully it goes well. I'm nervous. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye.